What's up everyone? So, uh, it is uh, Saturday. I just got out of gym. Check it out. Gym, right over there. So, I just got out of gym. It's about 12 p.m. right now. Gonna meet up with some friends. I'm gonna go to Costco against Brent and Aaron. So, this is the tripod that I got. Pretty legit. This is about 150 bucks, but definitely worth it. It's compact enough where I can bring it pretty much everywhere with me. I just put it hang on my bag and it's good to go but this is what I got but let's go begin of the day I figured I'd, while I'm driving to get my car washed before it gets loud I figured I should just talk to you guys a little bit more yesterday I talked about how I'm going through some hardships 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 <laughs> hardships hard difficulties right now everyone has those days and so that was one of my days where I just was so down and that doesn't usually happen to me. I was just so down I felt like doing nothing I was just like ah, I don't want to do anything but you know what Everyone goes through that phase uh, whenever you go through something and that's that's normal and I was mad at myself I was hard on myself like Chris come on man you got to stop being weak but you know what that happens to everyone it happens to me too believe it or not uh, whether you're a web developer youtuber whatever you are all those things always happen to people so so the main goal then is to make sure that when you go through those things you just have to remember that it's not permanent Difficulties, hardships, it may last two years, three years, it might last a couple days or months, but you know what? It's not forever. They will go away. Always remember that. So, yeah, now I'm here at the car wash. I want to show you guys where I go get my car wash. Check it out. But yeah, so the place to go to is called Express Car Wash. I love, I, I, I wash my car, it's pretty much routine now. I wash my car every single Saturday. But let's go to the car wash, guys. You ready? Let's do a B roll of a car wash. Can I do it well? I don't know. I'm gonna try. See you guys in a second. Come on, car wash, let's go. I got things to do, yo. Let's go, I got things to do. Come on. Alright, let's go. My mic's not on, so the audio isn't as clear and crisp, but it's all good. I just got out of the car wash. Let me zoom in a little bit. I don't know. That was a really short time lapse, but I think it might look cool. I don't know. I didn't get to see it. I'm just driving, vlogging while driving. I want to show you guys where I'm going to have lunch. And you know what? I'm really glad that, um, like, this is a coding channel, of course. I mean, I talk about code. I'll talk about the life of a developer, but I don't technically always talk about this is how you do functions, this is how you do loops, this is how you do, you know, uh, uh, arrays and etc. And I, I don't, that's not the kind of channel I want it to be. But really, I want this to be a vlogging channel. And I'm really glad now that I'm on like my 76th vlog, this will be vlog number 76, maybe, if not, if I put it to yesterday's video. But this is vlog number 76, and finally after 76 vlogs, I'm able to say this is a vlogging channel. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna go out at first. I started my first video as a regular video. No! Shoot, sorry. Man, you see that car behind me? He hates me right now. I wonder if he's gonna like honk at me. He stared at me. <laughs> uh, you know what? I wanna fix the audio. Let's put this on really quick. Let's put this on. I wasn't sure how, what I was gonna do with this channel at first, you know. Originally, it was just a regular cha YouTube channel where I don't do vlogs, but and I figured, you know, everyone else in the YouTube industry in this niche does that. And I wanted to be different. I wanted to do something where I'll have the chance to really just be myself and share my life. And I'm really glad that after doing this for like how many videos, I have 105, 110 videos already on YouTube. I've finally been able to establish myself as a vlogging YouTube coding channel I don't know what you call it let me know in the comment below so uh, just, I'm very thankful it, it blows me away that people are willing to watch my life even though I get like about 1500 2000 views per video now I'm, I'm very humbled as always and I thank you everyone for the support and I look forward to giving you guys and bringing you more content and it's just exciting this is the life of a developer really you study code you know you hustle uh, you go to work, you have hardships, you make mistakes. I make so many mistakes at work and, and I hate that man and, and, and it sucks. Um, but you know it happens and we'll see what happens. But anyway, 
time to eat. I'm getting Thai food. Guys, I've been doing really good on my diet, but I lost about five pounds this, I lost about five pounds this week. Pretty cool. Am I too close? Is it too close to the camera, guys? Am I too close? <laughs> All right, I'm eating food. I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's this? Jalen. Hi, Jalen. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, YouTube. Uh-oh. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am here. I just left Costco really quick to buy three pizzas for the outing I have. It's gonna take about 30 minutes, so I figured if it's gonna take 30 minutes to wait for pizzas to be made, why not just talk to myself on a camera? Like what normal people do. <laughs> what is the weather at this moment? Right now it is 85 degrees, man. Whew. While I'm here, I uploaded the vlog late, late, late last night when I got home. When I uploaded that vlog about how I feel like I want to quit, a lot of people were asking what I was talking about. No, I was not talking about my job. And I don't want to tell you what it was about, really. I just want everyone to know that it was through something that's really hard. The fact that I shared something so personal like that on YouTube was huge for me because it's different. You, you could talk to people. You could tell your friends about the hardships you're going through. That's easy, but for me, there's like, what, 7,500 subscribers now, and it's only going to grow as a video will remain on the internet forever. And so I'm sharing it with thousands of people who leave their own comments from what from the limited information they know and for me that's fine you can give all the suggestions you want and i want that and you guys have the right to do that i mean if i'm sharing my life with you guys you guys have the, all the rights you want to suggest or tell me what i should do better in life and etc but i just don't want to necessarily tell exactly what it is i'm going through also first of all i want to thank everyone really for all the support that you guys have given me it's insane some people who watch my channel even started texting me people hit me up on snapchat on twitter people you don't even know telling you how much they worry or how much they care about you and it's, it's humbling too thank you guys for everything it's perfect man all right i'm gonna rap for you guys real quick yo i can't believe it now look at what i'm seeing and yes do you believe it look at everything i'm needing and yes i really see it this is from uh, Philo Records. Yo, now hold on, I'm storytelling. Now listen, when I share about my life, you want me to be quiet or start yelling. I talk about the struggles. Yo, now, now tell me, man, what you going through, Chris, with the struggle that you going through, what you holding to. When I feel like I want to quit, I want to give up. I'm like, who am I going to go to when I got no one to trust? What is up, YouTube? It is Monday, I just got off work, and to be honest, I have no time to vlog at all today, so I will probably see you tomorrow when I have a little bit more time. Today's a little hectic as usual, but you know what? Good news, I am in a better mood now. In my latest video where I talk about how I feel like quitting, um, a lot of people were thinking I was talking about quitting my job, quitting on learning code, a lot of people thought I felt like quitting because I put so much effort on YouTube and I lack sleep but to be quite honest I don't lack sleep um, sleeping at 1 a.m. waking up at 6 a.m. to be honest that doesn't happen too often that only happens like once a week on Fridays and really what I felt like quitting was something totally different from that uh, good news um, that really difficult thing that I was going through is um, not so difficult no more I guess you could say I mean how should I say that uh, it's good <laughs> I'm good now everything's good that difficult situation has been resolved and now I just can't wait to move on to greater, newer things. Guys, we're so close to 800, 8,000 subscribers. We're gonna hit 8,000 subscribers next week, man. Crazy. All right, I'm out. Love you all. Peace. Hmm, what to get? I'm gonna get a number nine. You want number nine? All right, YouTube, so I am here at Sonics. While I'm here at the car, I do want to talk about something really quick. I think it's a valuable lesson that I've learned that I wish I learned sooner and I should have known to do sooner, but I was so focused on just learning code that I forgot to learn something that's even more important than just learning code, uh, which is learning the code base. Now, for example, I learned the code base in my company in the front end aspect, but at my company, I didn't really learn how the system actually works. For example, we have things like mustaches, we have things that connect to the back end, which is something I could have learned very easily, but for the last 12 or so months, I didn't really take the time to actually like look at the back end system and see how it works, which in result actually slowed down my growth where I could have been a much better at programming at my specific company than I am now. And because I focus so much on just learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, PHP, that more than just knowing a language, you have to know how to use that language with that company. You have to learn how to use that language with that, with that actual code base, with the way 
that system works with the current company's API. And that's something that I really never did at my company. In school, they teach you how to speak Spanish formally, but not with the current slang of today. So if I was going to speak Spanish, what I learned in school and go to Mexico and speak Spanish there, people would be like, who is this guy speaking so formal? Like, who is this guy? Who does this guy think he is, right? When it comes to learning languages or framework, yes, you have to know the language well, but you have to put in the time to be able to use that language with that current system at that company. Now I'm doing that. Now I know how to use the system. Now I'm understanding how all the mustaches work and everything. And I wish I knew it sooner. But again, I'm a junior developer. I'm getting better and I'm excited. And you know, I was so hard on myself. Why can't I understand this? Why can't I answer this question? Why can't I do this? But the main reason was only because I didn't take the time to really understand the system. Now I'm understanding it more. Now I'm understanding how everything works. And I think that's one of the most important things you need to do at your company or as an intern or anything. Um, secondly, last but not least, again, what's very important is that you don't just wait for people to tell you what to do, but you take the initiative. That's my two main tips I wanna share in this vlog today. There is something amazing that I'm gonna do tomorrow. My little secret, I'm not gonna tell anyone about it. Not even Midori knows. She'll find out when she watches the YouTube video. <laughs> but something cool is gonna happen tomorrow. I can't wait to do that. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Those are my main two big tips today. Those are my two biggest regrets. Don't copy me. Make sure you learn from my mistakes. Hustle, get better. See you guys later. This is Krishan, it's Life with a Developer, and I'm out. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Peace.